For my final project, I wanted to explore what it's like to tune PID loops visually, so I built this balancing robot. The robot is designed to keep itself stable while it's on a flat surface. The robot itself is pretty straightforward and it was designed with a lot of parts that I had laying around. At the top we have a few lithium ion cells which provide about 12 volts to the motors. Driving the robot are two NEMA 17 stepper motors, uh, which are really heavy but they provide a lot of torque. These motors are driven by two stepper drivers. These are the DRV8825s, which you might find on a 3D printer. Now the brain of this whole robot is this TNC 3.2 running TNC Duino. For the IMU, I'm using the MPU6050. It's a low-cost, 6 degree of freedom IMU meaning that it has three, a three-axis accelerometer, and it also has a three-axis gyroscope on board, and that gives the microcontroller um, the information that it needs to stabilize itself. And lastly, we have an Arduino Pro Mini, and the only purpose of this is to receive data from the IMU and to relay it to the TNC. I had a lot of trouble pulling the yaw pitch and roll data from the IMU, so this dedicated microcontroller spends all of its time um, doing uh, that while the TNC drives the steppers. That's about it. Before I begin doing anything with PID, I wanted to show you the trouble I had with the IMU. I'm not certain this is a problem exclusive to the MPU6050, but the angular data coming off it was less than ideal. I'm measuring roll data, which is the correct orientation that the sensor is at right now. If I turn on the unit, and then I open the serial plotter, You can see that the IMU takes a long time to find an equilibrium. So finally it's reached its equilibrium value. The other problem is when I rotate the robot in space even a little bit, you can see that value changing. That's the balance set point changing. So with that in mind, let's program the robot. This is the robot with just proportional control. What you can see is that the robot is slightly tipped when it's in its equilibrium position. When you only have proportional control, you get steady state error, and this is what it looks like. Here is the robot with proportional and a bit of integral control, and you can see that the robot is stabilized completely upright now. The balance has also gotten a little better, as the robot can now recover from being pushed over a bit. Unfortunately, everything I tried with derivative control failed. I attribute this to a delay in the response of the sensor. The sensor acted sort of like a slow bubble level, where it wouldn't immediately return back to equilibrium. I attribute this to the fact that my motors cause a lot of vibration, basically killing the accelerometer data. Derivative control is supposed to account for the immediate future state of the robot, so a bit of delay made it account for position in the past. This may have not been the most successful project, but I learned a lot. Self-balancing is hard, and PID control isn't magic. First and foremost for the PID, you need immediate sensor data that you can trust, and I wasn't able to get that with the MPU. But anyway, thanks for watching.